Learning the commutative law helps children with their maths in lots of ways. It's about understanding that addition and multiplication can be done in any order. In other words, that 3 plus 7 has the same answer as 7 plus 3. And 3 times 7 has the same answer as 7 times 3. It's an early introduction to the mathematical idea of proof. Ask children to imagine putting a quantity into a bag, followed by another quantity. Now suppose they did this again, but in the reverse order. Would the total amount be different? Arrays are another good way of showing how multiplication is commutative. The commutative law becomes really useful when we use it to show how a calculation can be recorded to make it easier without changing the answer. For example, it's much simpler to answer 199 plus 345 when we change it to 345 plus 199. In a similar way, if we know that 4 times 8 is equivalent to 8 times 4, we can count on an 8 instead of 4s, which is faster. In Japan, children are explicitly taught to put the smallest number first. 9 lots of 3? Don't do that, do 3 lots of 9. And if we change 99 times 150 to 150 times 99, we're more likely to think of the strategy of calculating 150 times 100 and then subtracting 150. One last thing, if we want children to use these approaches, it's important we don't teach them to always do the calculation they're given. They need to think flexibly.